Paliwanag po muna natin kayo, Mark. Uh, first to use, first to register, sino po ba ang nagmamayari ng uh, Eat Bulaca brand kung pagbabatayin po natin ng batas? So, ang sabi dyan, sino, sino ba ang maaglamang? Ma sino ba ang lamang? Mm. Ang unang nagrehistro or unang gumamit? Parang, parang pag-ibig din yan. Mm. Sino ba ang lamang? Ang unang inibig? o yung unang pinakasalan. Aba, naisingit mo pa talaga. Oo, totoo yan. Naisingit mo na naman. Unang inibig o unang pinakasalan. Sabi ng batas, this is actually a Supreme Court decision. We follow the first to file rule. So pag first to file rule, ang pinag-uusapan natin dito, ownership of a trademark is through registration. So irrelevant yung kung sinong unang gumamit, but... Sinong unang nagparistro with the Bureau of Trademark of the Intellectual Property Office? So ang pag-usapan pag natin dito, sino ba talagang owner ng Itbulaga? Mm. So we follow, we, uh, ang ginagawa natin, research natin lahat ng history. So yung Itbulaga is actually ang nag-isip dyan si Mr. Joey De Leon. It is sa kusina yata niya, na, na, kuan yan, sa base sa nabasa natin, but ang, ang nag-compose ng kantang Itbulaga is... Uh, yung si uh, Vic Soto. So, ang issue dyan, but sino bang owner ng, ng Itbulaga? Ang sabi ng batas, kung sino unang nagpa-registered, so kung sino unang nagpa-registered, sabi ng batas, ang tape corporation kasi, silang unang nagpa-registered sa intellectual property office. But yung pina-registered nila is only class 16, 18, 21, and 25 of the intellectual property. So, ano yung class 16, 18, 21, 25? Ibig sabihin, yun ang tinatawag na merchandising right. Merchandising right lang yan. But it will, it will expire on June 14, 2023. Next week, ma-expire na yan. So, ma-expire na kasi 10-year rule. So, mag 10 years na ngayong June 14, 2023. But yung right ng tape incorporated is only refers to class 16, 18, 21, 25 of the intellectual property. It means yung class na yan refers only to merchandising right. Ano ba yung merchandising right? MJ, yung jacket nakalagay dito, ito bulaga. Baso, may nakalagay dyan, ito bulaga, mm. binibenta mo yung baso, keychain. Yun. Yun ang tinatawag na merchandising. Nagbibenta ka ng merchandise. Mm. Merchandising, right. It could be sombrero, it oh. could be bag na may pangalan ng brand. Oh, brand. Brand. It's still a brand. Mm. Or kahit mga logo-logo dyan. That is merchandising, right. Mm. So, logo. Logo ng mga sa TV. That is merchandising, right. But hindi kasama doon ang entertainment, right? Hindi kasama doon sa hawak ng tape. Tape. Ang mm. entertainment, right? Because an entertainment, right, is actually class 41 of the intellectual property. Law. Class 41. So ano yung status ngayon? Si Mr. Tuviera, I don't know who is this Mr. Tuviera. This is my research. Nag-apply noong February 27, 2023. Nag-apply din siya ng, ng word na it bulaga brand. Under 16, 18, 21, 25, at sinama niya ang class 41. So dalawa ang in-apply niya, merchandise and entertainment rights. Nag-apply siya ng merchandise and entertainment rights si Mr. Tuviera noong February 27, 2023. This year. This year lang. Bago lang. O ilang buwan lang yun. Tapos si Mr. Joey De Leon, nag-apply din. But ang in-apply niya is class 41. Entertainment rights lang. Noong March 22, 2023. So, ibig sabihin, nag-apply pa lang sila. Kung ba, tingnan mo yung, yung facts ng story ng, ng Itbulaga, mm. walang owner ng entertainment right. Kasi nag-apply pa. Nag-apply pa lang si Mr. Tobira, nag-apply pa lang si Joey De Leon ng sa entertainment right. But with respect sa merchandising right, ang tape incorporated ang owner. After June 14, wala na ring owner ang merchandise. Wala Except nang... pag nagpa-extend sila. Di ba sabi ko? Ah, okay. Pwede magpa-extend six months before the expiration or six months after the expiration. So we will see, tingnan natin sa record kung nagpa-renew ba sila. Kasi I'm sure pag nagpa-renew sila, uh, pwedeng i-approve yan, pwedeng i-deny. Basta, basta, sabi ng batas, 
until June 14, 2023, ang ownership ng Tape Incorporated sa, sa Itbulaga brand. But refers only to merchandising right under Class 16, 18, 21, 25 of the Intellectual Property Law. Aba, so parang uh, nakaano sila, Kuya Mark, nakalutang yung, yung entertainment rights. Paunahan na lang kung sino mag-a-approve. Oo, oh, paunahan na lang. Kasi sabi ng batas, ha, first to file rule ang mag-a-apply. First to file. So first to file, possible kay Mr. Tubera or possible kay Mr. De Leon, we will know. Uh, basta, ang sabi ng batas, hindi yung sinong unang gumamit. Iba naman ang copyright sa trademark. Pag trademark kasi, sinong nagpa-registered, yun ang trademark. Ang copyright, the moment of the creation, yun ang copyright. Pwede ang owner ng copyright, yung for example, yung, yung show ng Itbulaga, pwede yun ang owner noon, sinong unang nag-create? Sino bang unang nag-establish doon? Maybe, Tito Vic and Joey, sila, they are the owner of the copyright of Itbulaga. Kasi, from the moment of the creation, nag-start kasi ang Itbulaga in 1979, from the moment of creation, yung copyright. But ang trademark, ang ownership is through registration with the Bureau of Trademark of the Intellectual Property Office. Uh, uh, so, hanging pala kayo, Mark. May the best man wins. Uh, so, sino? So, kung sabihin natin, owner si... Owner ang um, si Tito Vic and Joey. Ang tanong dyan? TVJ. If, if they are the owner of Itbulaga, we are talking of trademark, may certificate ba sila na silang owner? Kasi sabi ng batas, ang... Ang um, ownership of trademark starts from the registration. It's true registration. Ang tanong, may registration ba sila? Wala. How about copyright? Possible. Kasi from the moment of creation. Kasi maybe they are the owner of copyright. Kasi from the moment of creation, yun ang copyright. But ang trademark is through registration. So pag registration ang pinag-uusapan natin sa, sa trademark or yung tinatawag na brand, under the law, Tape Incorporated ang owner. But limited lang sila sa merchandising right. Kasi ang pinaregistered nila 10 years ago, ang pinaregistered nila is only Class 16, 18, 21, or 25. Ibig sabihin, about merchandising right, hindi nila pinaregistered ang entertainment right. So walang owner as of today, walang owner ng entertainment right ng Itbulaga brand. So paano yun kami?